And welcome to another episode of the Kids Ministry Collective Podcast. My name is Tom Bump, and I'm your host. Thanks for joining me, my friends. I am looking forward to another fun conversation, a conversation that's going to help you this summer if you're looking for a missions project for Vacation Bible School or for your summer blast or whatever, uh, if you're looking for something that can make an impact for children helping children, this is the episode for you. And this is a special edition because not only are we recording the audio version, but this is going to be recorded and posted in our Kid Ministry Collective YouTube channel so that you can actually see what we're talking about because this is an interactive podcast this time. There's going to be pictures to see. So you might want to check out, if you're listening to the podcast, you may want to go check out the Kids Ministry Collective uh, YouTube channel and find this video because uh, it, you're going to want to see what we're talking about, what my guest is talking about. But we're super excited to have my good friend, Charlie Bancroft, aka Uncle Charlie, uh, with me on the podcast. Hey, Charlie, welcome back to the KMC, my friend. Tom, it is great to be with you, my friend. I am so passionate and so excited about this ministry that I can't wait to share it with you guys. Oh, I'm excited too. So we're going to dive in. And if you're listening to this uh, before April 28th, 2023, uh, you have an opportunity to win five of the Carlitos Be Brave Monkeys, uh, the little plushies, and they are adorable. Um, you'll have an opportunity to use those to bless some children in your ministry that need that message uh, that Carlitos brings with it. But uh, we're going to tell you how you can get uh, the Carlitos Missions Project to your church at the end. We'll also put the link to the video and uh, all of the Carlitos Project stuff uh, in our show notes. So be sure to check those out uh, wherever you're listening to this podcast. So like I said, we're, Charlie has been a good friend. We, we have been doing... Uh, ministry uh, together, partnering in various things. And and I'm just excited because as he was sharing about this ministry, I've been following uh, his projects for a while now and have given myself to some of these. I'm like, Charlie, we need to do uh, a Facebook Live and we need to do a podcast and we need to record a video. So we're doing it all today. I'll tell you, um, we're, we're all in with Carlitos today. So uh, Charlie, tell us a little bit about... Um, what do you do with Carlitos, uh, this little stuffed monkey? What do you do with this project? Well, I've got about a thousand of them in the garage. I'm just a zookeeper. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> oh, yeah. The life of a zookeeper, it never ends. Yeah. I was going to say, you go through a lot of bananas then. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, no, I tell you what, this is this is a very unique and very effective ministry uh, for kids that are fighting life's toughest battles, Tom, mm -hmm. um, it's something that God put on my heart. I always grew up with a heart for kids that were the underdogs um, and kids that were struggling. Uh, what, you know, all kinds of different struggles they go through. We'll talk about those in a second. But what I do is I have this this 10 inch plush. I mean, super soft. Monkey. We made him this way on purpose. OK, um, he's got a little patch there that says be brave. He is a comfort animal for kids that are fighting life's toughest battles, mm. but he's much more than a comfort animal. Yeah, uh, I've got a motto that I use, and I'll talk about it here in a little bit, but he points kids to Jesus, Tom. That's what he does. Yes. So what I do with him, what I do with him is this. I use this scripture verse. This is, this is his verse, his Be Brave scripture verse. It's in Joshua 1.9. And it just says, be strong and courageous. Don't fear, be discouraged uh, because the Lord, your God is with you wherever you go. Mm. And this applies to kids, Tom, that are in hospitals, kids that are yeah. sick, kids that are foster children, kids that are refugees, kids that are grieving, uh, kids that are bullied. They need to be strong and courageous, but they need to know that God is the one who is with them, giving them the strength uh, to endure. And so, Tom, I have given away in less than four years, I have given away over 9,000 monkeys just across our country. Wow. <laughs> and he's reached almost virtually every state. There is at least one child in every single state, almost, okay, that has Carlitos 
comforting them and pointing them to Jesus. Now, I don't know what's up with Nevada over here, brother. <laughs> People got to get their act together. There's got to be a sick kid in there somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, hey, if any of our <laughs> listeners are from Nevada, you need to email me so I can help you get one to, get one to a hurting kid over there. There and we so, go. And so, Tom, that's what I do with him is I give him a way to kids that are fighting life's toughest battles. And I'm showing pictures for those of you that are just on audio. I'm showing pictures of some of the kinds of kids that we help. Uh, these are kids with cancer um, mm. that helped in various, various places. Uh, these are kids that are in hospitals that are sick. Um, so whether they're at home sick or in a hospital sick, we help them with Carlitos. Uh, it helps them to be brave. These two children were adopted. There's one that was adopted from India, and there's one here that was adopted from China. Um, I have kids uh, with Carlitos that are adopted from Haiti and other countries, even Uganda, where I used to be. Um, and so kids that are just adopted and, and needing some help. Now, these two kids happen to be in wheelchairs also. So he helps uh, kids that are going through disabilities as well. Yeah. These kids here that I'm showing um, are foster children. Tom, we help tons and tons of foster yeah. children. Can you just imagine some of the things that foster children go through being tossed from one family to another and some of the the volatile environments that they come from right um, some of these children were abused and so they need not just a comfort animal but they need to be pointed to their ultimate source of comfort jesus yes um these are pictures of kids with various kinds of special needs um anything from the autism spectrum to down syndrome to anything in between to it, it doesn't matter what kind of special needs that a kid has uh those kids they need to they need to be brave as well and many of them oh my gosh we we help those all over the country and they love 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 carlitos mm. so grieving children here's a picture of a couple kids that are grieving um i know the girl on the left that i'm showing uh just lost her mom she ended up tom giving her carlitos uh to the nurse there so that she can help another child who loses their parent oh. Wow. And so, of course, I sent her another one, but she's become my little monkey missionary, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah. These are pictures of bullied kids. Um, you hate to see kids get bullied at school, but it happens, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, when they find out about it, they get Carlitos to help them be brave. These two kids are both paraplegics. Um, so you can imagine what their life is like, but they've got a comfort animal who, when they watch his videos and when they... You know, when when they, of course, they've got Carlitos right there by their side, they're reminded that they can be brave, too. Yes. And so when I say Carlitos is more than a comfort animal, he really is, Tom. Um, and again, for those of you listening, I'm showing a picture of uh, what Carlitos comes with. He comes with a packet. And in this packet, lots of be brave items. You've got wristbands, you've got stickers, uh, there's scripture cards. There's a promise book called the Be Brave Prom Book of Promises. It's got 15 different illustrated scriptures, cartoon illustrated scriptures, where Carlitos is in different situations where he has to rely on a scripture to help him be brave. Um, and then the best part about it, I love this part about it. Um, he comes with a gospel book. Tom, we've been working on the gospel book for so long. It's like a gospel track, but it's a booklet. And it is it is just phenomenal the way that it's designed. This is kind of, for those of you that are watching, this is what it looks like, a, a yeah. part of it. And uh, the art beautiful. is just beautiful. Yeah, in this yep. thing. And so, um, and the coolest thing about the packet, number one, of course, is that it leads them to the gospel, <laughs> you know. Yes. But number two, there's a there's a card there where the parents can download Carlitos' app. And on Carlitos' app called Valued by God, He's got his own channel on there where we've made like 25 different videos, little cartoons of situations where he needed to be brave, little scenarios. And somebody shares a scripture with him, one of his friends, maybe his mom or whatever. He comes from a single parent family. He's a foster monkey. So he's got all these kinds of backgrounds. Right. Um, and it, it he teaches kids how to be brave. OK, so that comes with him. And so these kids get all of that. And my motto is this, Carlitos is more than a comfort monkey. Carlitos points kids, hurting kids, to their mm. ultimate source of comfort, Jesus. So yes. that's kind of what Carlitos is all about, Tom. Wow. 
That is such a beautiful thing. And in our world today, there's, you know, this is a generation that's known for their anxiety and their fears. Yes. And, and, and as much as we want to pray over them, sometimes it's awesome just to, to use those prayers, but then support it with something like this. Um, what a powerful tool, um, this little stuff monkey is, um, <laughs> yeah. it, it really is something. And then that, yeah, the gospel tract and the stuff that comes in that packet, mm -hmm. um, that is really, really fabulous. I, I'm just curious, Charlie, how did, how did you start with Carlitos? Um, how did, where did the mission begin? Yeah, it began out of adversity, Tom. I mean, God takes the, you know, our, our, our life is made up of so many different pieces of the puzzle, right? And God sees that masterpiece. He sees that in piece. Um, and But we only see that puzzle one piece at a time. And some of those puzzles are really pretty. We like those pieces, but some of them are pretty <laughs> ugly, Tom. We don't like those, right? Yeah, right. Um, God had to use a near fatal accident in my life in 2007. Um, uh, it was a miracle that I survived it. It was a miracle I recovered. Uh, it was a miracle I stopped stuttering and all those kinds of things when I had residual from the accident. It was a two-year journey. But God gave me an empathy for kids with special needs because, Tom, I knew what I wanted to say in my head, but I couldn't get my words out. Mm. And it, empathy for others, maybe who know what they want to say, but they're physically unable to express that. So I created the app first that and it wasn't Carlitos's app at the time. It was just my app with all of my music. You know, I used to tour, do music and, and the whole nine yards with kids worship. And I made teaching videos. I wanted them to know that they were valued by God. Well, then in 2018, <laughs> you think the COVID year was bad, Tom? <laughs> 2018, I got diagnosed with cancer. Uh -huh. While I'm in one of my surgeries, okay, in the middle of one of my surgeries, Tammy, my wife, is in the waiting room. She gets a call that confirmed that she had cancer. Wow. She was so scared. She didn't tell me for two weeks, bro. She didn't. <laughs> she was afraid. I mean, she, I was going through too much at the time, and she didn't even want, she didn't have the heart to tell me. But so we both went through cancer at the same time in 2018. Hers was much more complicated than mine. But thank God we're five years, we're just about five years out. We're both doing great. God is not done awesome. with us yet, brother. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's only beginning, you know. <laughs> and so uh, I praise God for his healing uh, two times in my life. You know, I'm like the cat with nine lives, Tom. I don't know, <laughs> you know which life I'm on right now. But um, I'm thankful to be alive and I'm thankful to, to have this ministry. But I'm in the infusion room with Tammy at Moffitt Cancer Cancer Center, and I was asking God, God, how can I get this app into hands of kids that have cancer, kids that are in hospitals, other kids that are hurting? Because I've always had a heart for the underdog kid because, Tom, I grew up in a poor family. We went bankrupt. I grew up with a single parent, mom, uh, you know, single mom, no dad around. Um we, I grew up bullied, man. I was so small, dude. I had to jump around in the shower just to get wet. Okay. So <laughs> some of your listeners will get that in about 30 yeah. minutes. It'll, it'll That's ring. Awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, Tom, I got bullied about that and, and I, I didn't like being small. I really didn't. And so I had those three strikes against me growing up, but God turned all that around and gave me a heart for kids that suffer through some kind of the same things. Uh, God gave me the answer. So with the comfort he comforted me with, he uses me to comfort other kids with like the mm. Bible says Corinthians. So um, as I'm sitting there in the infusion room, I recalled, Tom, it was, God just put it, put it right there on my heart. I recalled back in my early days of ministry, I used to travel to Uganda, East Africa. And uh, you see, behind me, for those of you that are looking, uh, mm -hmm. that can see, I, I've got a map of Uganda uh, right there. And I used to go there. I went there uh, four years in a row, and I would minister to orphan children there a thousand at a time and uh, lead the worship for them. It was incredible ministry. That's where I got my stage name, Uncle Charlie, Tom. Um, <laughs> you, would, you would be Uncle Tom, <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to be called, you know. Yep. Uh, I'm Uncle Charlie, all, all of the women would be called aunties, you know, uh -huh. Auntie Tammy, Auntie, you know, Barbara, whatever, right? So uh, uncle and auntie is their term of respect or term of endearment for, um, for, for the adults. 
So when I came back to the United States and started sharing those stories of the kids in um, in Africa with the kids here, they all started calling me Uncle Charlie. So there was my stage name. It was born, right? So <laughs> I traveled the country cool. with Uncle Charlie for 15 years doing the music and the whole nine yards. But I had a nickname in Africa because in Uganda, Tom, they don't grow hair on their arms or their legs. Not even the adults do. It's a cultural. Wow. And so I grow a lot of hair. Now it's kind of blondish and you can't see it, but you can feel it. And those kids <laughs> would play with my hair all day long and they would call me Monkey Charlie. <laughs> 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 so, I'm not proud of that name, but you know, uh, they, but they gave me that name, Monkey Charlie. So when I'm thinking about that, and I'm sitting there in the infusion room with Tammy at, at Moffitt Cancer Center, um, I got to thinking about kids in hospitals, especially, they always have like a teddy bear or a little doggy that they're holding, a little comfort animal, right? Mm -hmm. well, I thought, ooh, hmm, how about a monkey? And so we named him Carlitos because Carlitos is little Charlie in Espanol. <laughs> and go. so we created this ministry. We had a voiceover guy who has a little bit of Hispanic overtone to his voice. You know, my name is Carlitos, you know, my my, <laughs> you know, my best friend, Uncle Charlie, you know, my amigo, you know, that kind of thing. And so we began to develop the character of Carlitos and it was born right there in the infusion room. Wow. But again, if they want a comfort animal, they can go to Walmart for crying out loud and get a comfort animal, right? Yeah. He's he's more than that. He's the right. Joshua 1 9 be brave monkey that leads them to Jesus. And there so without that part of it, to me, there's an, it's just a humanitarian effort. It's not a ministry. Yeah. This is ministry. And that's where it was born, Tom. That is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and you have an opportunity for churches to partner with you. Um, and and you have you have sent these monkeys all over the place. I know I have a young friend that I had you send a, a, a monkey to that's going through a, some deep journeys in in a hospital right now. And and in fact, he's still there. Um, and uh, you know, it, we just it's a powerful thing. And I'm just curious, how does the project work? Um, how how does it work if somebody was interested in and doing the, the the mission project, how does how does that kind of thing work? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, first of all, the reason I'm able to uh, give away these monkeys uh, to children's pastors all over the country, many whom are listening, have gotten a Carlitos and given it to a sick child or a hurting child, grieving child, whatever. That's made possible because of what we're about to talk about, the Carlitos Mission Project. And that's my main conduit for, for having enough funds to give Carlitos away. It's a giveaway ministry. I don't charge for him for these kids. Now, if people want to buy them for their own kids just as a toy, that's up to them. But for the ministry purposes, I'm never going to charge a hurting kid to hear mm. the gospel. <laughs> you know, not going to do it. And so, um, so what we do is that we take Carlitos and here's how the mission project works. It basically works through either uh, their vacation Bible schools or some kind of a mission emphasis that children's ministries do. Let's take Bible school, for instance. A lot of them take up um, mission offerings and they designate it to a missionary somewhere, right? Okay, well, mm -hmm. what we do is we let Carlitos be the missionary. But here is what separates this mission project from any other. Tom... They are not only raising the money to help me minister globally, okay, but they also will get a Carlitos to minister in their group locally. Here's how it works. For every $25 that's raised, okay, that $25 enables me to give away a Carlitos, and I give them away to a special group that we'll talk about here in a little bit this summer, um, a special group this summer. Um, but they also get a monkey. So that $25 gives me the opportunity to give one away. But it also I send their group one where they can collectively as a group, they can like adopt a children's home, adopt a children's hospital, adopt a foster home, or maybe mm. they just know some kids that are hurting that they can band together and pray for and pray over the monkeys and give to these kids. However, the, the children's pastor chooses to use it as a local mission, they can. So, for instance, if somebody raises um, 
what a thousand dollars how many monkeys is that 50 monkeys i'm just mm -hmm. throwing numbers out there that's 50 monkeys that they get that they can minister with okay and it's also 50 monkeys that i can give away to my project so they take a hands-on approach tom and that's what separates it from other ministries they're not just yeah. supporting somebody out there but they're taking the ownership and when kids take yes. ownership about something tom they get excited buddy. they do that they do and that is such a powerful thing. I mean, wow. you, you not only get to help kids around here in the United States, but you get to go, you could make it personal and make it local. Um, and there are lots of, of foster care groups, um, trauma groups um, that you could bring some of these Carlitoses to in your own hometown. And just by raising money and then no that your children will also know that they're giving Carlitos to other kids. And this is the, this is the really cool part that really got my heart um, mm -hmm. is a few weeks ago, a couple, I guess a couple of months ago, I saw you start posting about a ministry to take Carlitos into uh, Ukraine, um, yeah. which is just being war torn. And mm -hmm. there are thousands and thousands of children that have become refugees some of them are in some ways just kind of held hostage by the circumstances and they can't leave their own country uh, to get to the safe place. And so there's all this fear and anxiety and and just devastation around them. And you have developed something and God has opened a door for you to get into the Ukraine. Tell us a little bit about that project and how did Carlitos start going into Ukraine and ministering to children? Yeah, I'll tell you what, that is that is an incredible, incredible story that God just put in my lap, Tom. You know, the there's a book uh, uh, written by Henry Blackaby, and, and it's called Experiencing God. Yes. And in, in the, the basic premise of that book is find where God is working and join him in his work. Mm -hmm. I can tell you firsthand knowledge, firsthand knowledge that there is revival going on in Ukraine. Hmm. Evangelical Christian church are being the hands and feet of Jesus, and I'm a part of it. I've joined God in his work there. And how it all started was this. Huh. Tom, about three years ago, three and a half years ago, my artist who had been with me for 20 years, he's still my best friend to this day. I love him to death. And we're, we're accountability partners. We pray with each mm -hmm. other for each other. He calls me one day. He says, Charlie, he goes, man, I have to retire from the art thing. I'm going into book writing and, you know, Harvest House Publishing has called me and I'm, you know, <laughs> and they, they have me. I'm like, dude, Carlitos is a brand. We came yeah. up with Carlitos. What are we going to do here? You know, and, uh, and so we began to pray that God would lead me to an artist, singular. OK, mind you, singular artist <laughs> that could take uh, Todd's place. And um, long story short, God led me to not one. Not two, not three, but he led me to four <laughs> artists. None of them are in America. One is in Brazil, oh. and the other three are in Ukraine. So my artists who draw Carlitos are mostly Ukrainian. And mm. for those of you that are watching that can see this video, you see my three main uh, girl artists who come from Ukraine, Alyssa, Larissa, and Karina. Um, Alyssa is still there. She's in the western part of Ukraine near Lviv. Um, Larissa, the one on the top here, she came from the capital city of Kiev and she had to leave because at that time it looked like the Kiev was going to get taken over. That's what mm. that was the goal at the time. And so she is a refugee in Israel right now. Um, her parents are half Jewish. And so they, mm. the, the Jewish people came and, and got them. I mean, it was really cool how they got them out and, and rescued them. Um, Karina, she was finishing up art school in Italy, ready to come back home. Her daddy is an evangelical, evangelical Christian church pastor there in Odessa. Odessa happens to be a coastal city that's right by the Black Sea. And so, of course, that city is under bombardment all the time. They're mm. under threat all the time. Um, yeah. The enemy definitely wants that city because they can control the imports and that kind of thing. And so you can imagine it's kind of a treasure chest, you know. Um, so uh, Karina was ready to come back home. 
uh, she was done with art and she was coming back home and they stopped her, said, you can't, the war has just begun. So she had to stay in Italy. Well, in the meantime, her sister Veronica, she was in her sixth year of med school, Tom, six year wow. med school, majoring in neurology. She's one of them smart girls. <laughs> yeah, really smart. <laughs> yep. Just 24 years old for crying out loud. Here's she a sixth year in med school, neurology. She got yanked out of school, man, and she had to leave. And so she went to be a refugee with uh, Karina in Italy until just recently. She's been there all that time. She just came back and she's taking a chance on staying because she couldn't stay away from her family, Tom. You know, mm. this is very loyal, very loyal. And so when Veronica was with Karina, Veronica doesn't speak Italian. She doesn't know that language, but she is bilingual. She knows English. So the three of us decided to let them bloom where they were planted. They were kind of discovering, you know, wh what is God's will for me now? I mean, I was majoring in neurology here. I, I had my career figured out, but no, you know, God just interrupted their lives just like that. So I, I shared my story with them and how God kind of interrupted my life a few times, <laughs> you know, but then he worked it out together for good. Well, they bought it. They bought all in. Long story short, they started to bloom where they were planted, and we came up with a ministry for the Carlitos, I mean, for the uh, Ukrainian kids, and Karina drew everything, she drew the packet items, everything in their language, and she even drew the patch in their language. Wow. Isn't that the coolest? That's she, very cool. Carlitos now is in Ukraine helping refugee children there in Ukraine, we call them internally displaced children because yeah. they move from one place to another to escape, especially in the eastern part of Ukraine. Um, these are all the things that come with Carlitos. You yeah. will see everything that we have for the American kids, but you can see that they're done in Ukrainian. And the big piece of item there is a coloring book, a, a scripture, Be Brave scripture coloring book with Carlitos. And those kids for for kids like that that um, well for them the coloring book is like the iPad is to our kid okay yeah coloring is a big big deal in Ukraine it's a very artistic country uh, for those of you that don't, don't know the history so for instance here's a map of Ukraine for those that are watching and you see the red part that's the occupied territories many of the children who were displaced to other places in Ukraine. And many of the ones we are helping personally right now are from the villages that were once occupied that have been liberated, but destroyed. And so for instance, mm. and again, for those of you that are just listening, I'm showing pictures now of some Ukrainian kids with Carlitos. We've helped over 7,000 children with the Carlitos packets uh, because we, we could get those made inside of Ukraine. We couldn't get the monkeys made inside of Ukraine, so it was a longer process to get them there from China um, and lots of difficulties trying to get them across the border, you can imagine. But we just recently found a way that we can make them in Ukraine. And so thank God yeah, we've got the monkeys awesome. in Ukraine now. And so you can see this little boy holding the monkey, but you see the house behind him is literally destroyed. This yeah, is his devastating. Yeah, this is his neighborhood. Um, you can see this little boy, he's holding a piece of bread in one hand, he's holding the Carlitos packet, and he's holding Carlitos, and he even has a little lollipop in his hand. Uh, <laughs> humanitarian groups, Christian humanitarian groups, Christian pastors, Christian volunteers, they risk their lives to go to these eastern parts of the country, to these little villages that have been decimated and they're still very, with some of them within 20 kilometers of the front lines. I mean, that's how close they are. Wow. This is, yeah. And so um, they go there to help these children because they have nothing. They don't have electricity. They don't, you know, you can tell all the, the coats and the hats and things that they're wearing are were given to them by these humanitarian groups. So they get, they take care of their physical needs, but Carlitos helps with the spiritual needs. All right. So it's a combination of the two. My yeah. part is to help with Carlitos. This little girl here, for those that uh, are, they can see the pictures, she's telling you she's three years old. This is cute as can be. Yes. Um, and again, for those, I'm trying to describe the pictures here, but this little kid, you can see in his eyes, you can see the pain, yep. his trauma, 
you can see the, you know, the disillusionment, you can see it in their eyes. It's yeah, just the, the sadness is, is yeah. breathtaking to look into those eyes and see him staring back at the camera. Uh, it uh, really is. It's very seldom that we get kids to smile there. Uh, but Carlitos makes them smile. This little mm -hmm. girl even got bananas to feed Carlitos. I thought <laughs> was very, very clever. Um, I'm showing pictures now of a little bit of of this little village that was um, that was just decimated. Uh, this is their school that they used to attend. And to describe it for those who can't see it, it's got cannon holes or, or yeah. tank holes in it. Uh, um, windows blown out. Wow. This, their whole classroom is destroyed. That's where they used to meet and learn. Um, houses destroyed, leveled. Um, this hmm. uh, I'm showing a picture of Veronica, my helper. She is my project manager. She has now, I told you, she moved back to uh, Odessa, Ukraine. And um, she is a beautiful girl inside and out. Let me tell you, Tom, Tammy and I practically adopted her as our own daughter. <laughs> uh, we've even tried to come and get, we've tried to get her to come and live with us and she just won't leave home, bless her heart. But she has grabbed on to this ministry and she has found her purpose uh, through <sighs> her pain. And so she was just on a mission trip and di distributed Carlitos. And this is a picture of her and a little boy. And this little boy's story um, he has a twitch in his eye, Tom, and he can't control it. And Veronica mm. understands because being in neurology, she understands it is uh, trauma induced. Yeah. Uh, and this little boy told the story of how uh, a Russian soldier held his long gun to his chest. He pointed the barrel of the gun to his chest and made him watch while other Russian soldiers beat up his parents in front of him. Oh, I've heard my. other stories that that happened to other kids in other villages. So it seems to be a common thing. Um, and so you can imagine the, he, he, Carlitos is more than a toy. Yes. He's more than even a comfort animal. He's therapy to these kids. Yeah, see? for sure. For sure. There he is. I mean, you can see it in his eyes. You can yep. just see it in his eyes. Um, here's a picture of a little girl. <laughs> the colors of Ukraine, for those of you that are watching, I'm wearing Ukrainian wristbands that say, Be Brave, Joshua 1-9, just like our wristbands. But the blue and the gold, that's the colors of their flag, their country. The blue is for the skies. The gold is for the wheat. They're like the number three major exporter in wheat in the world. And so it's a pretty, pretty big deal. So anyway, this little girl put a bow on Carlitos's hair and made it <laughs> in the Ukrainian colors. I guess she named him Carlita. I don't know what she did, but hey, power <laughs> to her. Power to That's her. That's awesome. Oh, but Tom, it goes further than that because now we're not only helping the children inside of Ukraine, we are discovering, and I've discovered in the last couple of months, man, they are coming to America. Um, mm -hmm. There's programs that uh, sometimes they come with their moms. Usually their dads cannot come because a male that is under 60 has to stay in case they get drafted into the war. Um, wow! They send their wives and their children and the grandmas and that kind of thing, or the elderly uh, to come come with the children. And so we're finding refugees that are here in the United States. My goodness! And so we made the packets. Everything that Karina drew, we have printed here. I've I've got a garage full of uh, Ukrainian Carlitos, and we give them away to Ukrainian refugees that we find. We're finding them in a lot of places. Some of you may know some Ukrainian refugees that mm -hmm. have come to your city. I want to know about them because I want to get them Carlitos. What better way to welcome them to America than to help them to be brave and to look to the yes. one who saved their life, right? Yes. Oh, amen. This little girl here, she was. it was her first day in the doctor's office. She was getting her shots, Tom. She was scared to death. And it mm -hmm. just so happened, this is how God works. One of the ladies that helps me distribute Ukrainian Carlitos, she's Ukrainian. She's helped Ukrainians for 25 years. She just happened to walk in this building. It was the wrong building. She was supposed to be next door. She walked in there by accident. She overheard the little girl talking about how she was scared to get her shots because she was talking in Ukrainian. She thought, oh, I've got a monkey out of the car. She ran out. She got the Carlitos packet, the Carlitos monkey, and she gave it to the little girl and what the be brave booklet has a scenario tom of a little girl getting a shot from a doctor 
Oh, oh wow. <laughs> and she said in Ukrainian, that's me. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> and it got to help her be brave. Isn't that cool? That Here's is so cool. Another little picture of a little girl, Tom, that uh, just arrived. This was, I think this was the day of her arrival. She was sick. She was tired. But look how Carlitos made her smile. Yep. Uh. Little Ukrainian kids all over America. You can tell how much they love Carlitos. Put yourself in their shoes. Mm -hmm. Go to a new country. You don't know their language. You don't know how their schools work. You don't have friends. You're alone. You know, it's how are you going to learn? What better way to welcome them than Carlitos yeah. in their own language and yeah. to put them to Jesus, even the gospel track in their own language. And so this little boy, I just took his picture uh, or my friend took his picture um, last Saturday. I just saw this little boy and uh, she took a picture of him for me. He's, he's photogenic. So there you go. So Carlitos wow. is only helping the kids right here in America. But this year for the Carlitos Mission Project, you're going to get a monkey and you're going to give me the ability to give the monkey and the packet away to somebody in Ukraine or a refugee that's here with us. That's what I'm doing with my part this summer. That's fantastic. So, Charlie, if if somebody's listening to this and they're like, yeah, we want our church to be involved uh, with the Carlitos Mission Project, what do they need to do to get started? Yep. Just email me, Tom. Just email me. I'm going to give you my email address and I'm going to give you my website. Um, they can go to my website and they can see the Carlitos Mission Project and they can also see the Refugee Project. They can see everything there. Um, on the um, on the Carlitos Mission Project, I will provide everything they need from publicity to custom flyers that they can uh, to print off and give to their parents, uh, you know, take homes, whatever. Um I have little two minute videos that I will supply for them. Um, each video talks about a different segment of kids that we help with Carlitos, not only across the country, but in Ukraine, okay? So um, they're all two minutes long, so you can plan them in large group and you know exactly how much time you're taking, which is I know is important for those large groups. Right? <laughs> uh, and um, I have, oh my gosh, I give the kids uh, Be Brave wristbands to remind them to pray for the kids in Ukraine and remind them to pray for kids in America. Um, I give them little thank you cards where they can download. They can have the app as well, so they can have all of my music and have all of Carlitos' cool. teaching. I reward these kids in special ways. But I will give um, the samples of monkeys. I'll give as many samples as you need to display around, um, give you all the publicity you need. And I work hand in hand with everyone who wants to be a part of the mission project. I work hand in hand the whole way with you. I make sure that we communicate. I'm really big on communication. And um, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that all the needs are met and supplied I ship the things as quickly as I can. I give you digitals, you know, I give you everything that you need um, to help you to help you with the project. So here's what you do. Just email me and say, hey, man, I watched this. Uh, I watched this. I listened to the podcast or I watched the video cast. I'm interested in Carlitos. Um, and that's that's, you know, tell me more and I will send you everything that that you need. So the, the email address is charlie, with an I-E, C-H-A-R-L-I-E, at carlitosforkids.com. Carlitos is C-A-R-L-I-T-O-S, the number four kids, K-I-D-S, dot com. Charlie at carlitosforkids.com, okay? There we go. Um, the website is carlitosforkids.com. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so they can see everything at Carlitos for Kids, the number four, um, carlitosforkids.com. And then they can email me at charlie at carlitosforkids.com. Excellent. So listen, if you're out there and and you know of some refugees in your area, be sure to 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 email Car Carlitos <laughs> to, yeah. to email Charlie. <laughs> Uh, he's taking over my ministry. They don't he talk is. He's taking, he's you know? totally, he's totally <laughs> yeah. taken over and he's got, I've got Carlitos on the brain now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you could, you could email Charlie and ask for some of those to be, to be sent to you. Um, you can get on the missions project. Um, certainly ask your children to pray for and, and, 
and and do that. And so again, if you're listening and you're interested, please mention that you heard it on the Kid Ministry Collective podcast or the KMC, or you've watched it, you watched the video on our Kid Ministry Collective YouTube channel mm -hmm. so that Charlie knows, because what we're going to do is between uh, now and that you're listening with this release date and April 28th, of 2023 we're going to take everyone who emails charlie by that date uh and says that you listened uh, on the podcast or you watched it in the facebook group and, or on the youtube channel there's three ways to do it uh you can enter and charlie's going to give me all those names and we're going to put you on the big wheel and we're going <laughs> to give it a spin and somebody out there is going to win five yeah. of the carlitos monkeys for your ministry and then Charlie's going to draw five more names and you'll win one for your ministry that you can use uh, to show off. And, and again, we would love for as many of our listeners as can to get behind this project to help those children in Ukraine and around here in our own country. Uh, and again, you may know of a, of a local shelter or someplace that needs a bunch of these. Use that to help raise the funds um, and, and you can do a both and you're going to bless kids in Ukraine. You're going to bless kids in your own neighborhoods, uh, with this beautiful gospel monkey, the be brave monkey. Um, and our kids need courage. Um, there's yes. no doubt about it. Um, and to know that God is with them and will never leave them. So, yes. um, man, I am so excited. I hope many, many of you will join in on this project uh, even after the 28th of April, you can get involved in this um, and, uh, and and just partner with us on this one. So, Charlie, thank you, my brother. Thanks for being on the podcast and for sharing your passion uh, for reaching kids with the good news. You bet you, Tom. It's my pleasure and it's my passion. It really is. And uh, I can't wait to talk to some of you guys. Hey, and by the way, I will be glad to do this. And this worked really well last year, Tom. There were a lot of them who took on the Kalios Mission Project, but man, they were like, Charlie, is there any way you can meet with my volunteers? Look, I can do a Zoom with you and your volunteers, and I can share with them as much information as you want to cool. share. And I guarantee you, if they catch the passion, your kids will catch the passion. I can yes. promise that. Yeah. Yes. So I'm happy to do that, Tom. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's even bonus. Um, there you go. <laughs> so... You can have have Charlie come in live with your team um, or recorded, whichever works for you. So cool. Yeah. Well, thanks again. And thank you for listening to this episode of the Kids Ministry Collective podcast and for watching us on our Kids Ministry Collective YouTube channel. And we hope that you'll stay tuned for another episode real soon.